Let us learn about the method of multiplication which involves finding base of the numbers. So what are numbers that will be given to us for multiplication? First step will be to find out the base of that number. So what is this base? This base is going to be either the number 10 or a power of 10. So this could be 10, 100, 1000, etc. And what is the other point about the base of a number? This power of 10 that we are looking at should be nearest to the given number. So for example, let's try and find out the basis of few numbers. So let's say we have this number 98. Now the closest power of 10 that we can find is 100. What about 79? Again, the base will be 100. What about 15? The base is going to be 10 because it's the nearest power of 10. What about number 7? Again, the base will be 10. Now, what about a number which is a three digit number like 105? 105's base will be 100 since it's near to 100. What about 985? The base will be 1000. What about 789? Again, the base that is closest to this given number is 1000. What if the number is 485? The advanced method involves finding the base which is a multiple of the power of 10 but in this case since we are just looking for the powers of 10 I just want to focus the, your attention that the base which is nearer to 485 is rather 100 and not 1000 but this will work this much of knowledge will work for our method for this section so if we are able to find the nearest base which is a power of 10 we should be able to proceed further okay now let's talk about supplement of the number. This is another thing that we need to find out before proceeding with the multiplication. So to introduce the supplement of the number, it's simply any given number minus the base of that number. So for example, if we wanted to find out the supplement of any number like 82, so the base for it is going to be 100 and what will be the supplement? It's 82 minus 100. So we will get minus 18 as the supplement. What about the number 13? In case of 13, the base will be 10 and the supplement will be 13 minus 10 plus 3. What about if the number is 996? The base in that case is going to be 1000 and so the supplement will be 996 minus 1000 which is minus 4. I hope it's clear how we can find the supplement of a number. Now using the base of a number and supplement of a number, let's see how we can complete the multiplication of two numbers, which we will look at in the next video.